No, your screen's not frozen, it's just me. I'm just being weird again. Might well, might as well start it off that way. <laughs> um, so, my, um, yes, this is the new Dairy Hot Sauce. Uh, I plan on finishing this within three minutes and let it do a six minute after it. No, just kidding. So, milk. Um, my wife, yesterday she's watching this, she's like, why don't you have milk, like, on hand? Why don't you just set that up? And I said, so I don't expect any of these things to really tear me up. And then came the tincture. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that did a number. So uh, the stomach pain thing, um, thank you, Scotch Sonnet. Um, he was uh, correct about making sure that I insulate my stomach with uh, something before and after. So I did get the little um, tummy gurgles. And... Um, they uh, went away pretty quick, so nothing, nothing lasting. So uh, I also have um, this milk. Got this milk from the farmers market. There's a local dairy farm here in Livermore, um, and uh, so I thought I would try that. Uh, been a long time since I've had milk straight from a dairy. Uh, I used to have that when I was a kid. And there was a lot of things when I was a kid, just the freshness of the milk and uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes tasted so much better when I was a kid. And uh, dill pickles. My mom and uh, my grandma on her side there, they would uh, can pickles and they would put a lot of dill into them. And I remember as a kid, they I hated that because it didn't sound like... Uh, it's not like anything I wanted. And I, I tried it and it was like, this isn't a pickle. That's, you get the pickles in the store. Now I crave it, but I, and I can't find them anywhere. So uh, I may have to try my hand at uh, doing that. My wife is rolling her eyes. Oh, I was going to try canning. Uh, I don't know. So uh, I have milk here and my little HPD. That is Hollister Poor Decisions. Shout out to uh, Joe and Nick, and um, Jonathan Sewillahan. Um, I guess uh, I think I guess John has uh, decided to uh, retire early in life, and uh, he's he's going. I guess he and the wife are going to be uh, traveling around the country in an RV before uh, my sweetheart and I. Why am I doing this to the class? Ooh, oh, glass. That milk, I don't know why I'm doing these things. Very weird. I have this because I have that backlighting going on. I've got the, got the the very deep eyes going on. Looks like uh, Dracula. There used to be an actor named Bella Lugosi, and he had the he had the very hooded eyes. And yes, it looks very dark. I, look, I almost look like I've got my. It's like if um, Vin Diesel just really let himself go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm wearing my pucker butt shirt today. This is the um, Carolina Reaper, uh, which oddly enough is the very logo, uh, the uh, label they have for what we're going to try today, which is Reaper Squeezins. Oh, it sounds so nice. Uh, it, this is a signed edition by Smokin' Ed Curry. That's the one I uh, won. And uh, so I have not tried this yet. I have not opened it yet. Um, let's see. Yeah. Boy, this is a tiny, shiny little letters. And... Um, my magnifier is on the phone, but yeah, okay, there we go. Reaper peppers. Uh, distilled vinegar. Looks like and uh, Yeah, sounds great. So uh, before we do that, let's do some of this.
Mmm. That is some good milk. That's uh, darn tasty milk. So, yeah, definitely be doing that again. Uh, best before May 1st. No, I'm just kidding. This is May 24th. Although I did, the, the milk that I drank uh, the other day was uh, about a week old. Still tasted good. It says you can buy it up to a week after and uh, still good. My wife questioned me. I'm sure um, uh, Jared, uh, Jared M., I'm not going to call him out by his last name here. I'm sure he would say that if it was, if you'd bought it and it was in your fridge a couple of days and uh, it wasn't even close to the expiration date, he'd probably say, oh, you got to get rid of it, get rid of it. So, um, but what does he know? So, let's open this sucker up. There we go. All right. Ooh. The uncapping. <laughs> so, if you remember um, the Reaper Mash that I had the other day? that um, felt like I was, um, I had an alien deposited in my stomach. Uh, that's what this uh, smells like. <laughs> Woo! So, I'm gonna be careful. Yes, do you see my shaky weight skills? The shake weight. craziest. I thought um, the thigh master was crazy. Shake weight. <laughs> Shake weight took the um, took the cake on that one. Okay. That's not a huge amount. Does it smell any better? I mean, it smells fine. It smells good. Ed, wonderful product. Um, I, you know, I owe you for that tincture because that, that does not taste good. Oh, um, that's a good look. Oh, 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 that's a great look. Boy, that's gonna, that's gonna get the ladies. I'll tell you that. Not that I want ladies, sweetheart. Not that I'm looking for ladies. Just saying, you know, you need me to scare some away. That's the look right there. So, okay, here we go. Uh, we go to 835. Yeah, he bottled, he bottled uh, Reaper Mash. It tastes exactly like the stuff I had the other day when I had such uh, uh, bad stomach pains. All right, so there's definitely a kick right off. But again, they're Reapers, so it does build. So let's see what we got going here. Um, sh it's a really sharp vinegar taste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these off because we know what's gonna happen. Um, very sharp vinegar taste. Um, the heat is building. Feel it all over my tongue on the sides. Let's say I'm at about a two or three right now on the heat level. Feel it in the back of my throat a little bit. A little fire. A little firm. It's not, not that bad. Definitely um, uh, scorching around the edges of the tongue. Um, licking my lips, so I'm getting getting the burn. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Um, no, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, let's ramp it up a little bit. 
So not my favorite tasting sauce, but I don't think that's really the point. Um, this is the triple X. Uh, I would say for most people, it was probably a 10 or 11. Um, since I have been, uh, I'm becoming one of the um, chili heads um, over on Johnny uh, Scoville's page, uh, or his channel page. Um, he has a thing called the bus for all the chili heads, and uh, I'm on the bus now because uh, I subscribe and I'm doing all sorts of stupid things. So um, Scotch Sonnet is over there. That's a good channel to watch, folks. Um, Johnny Scoville is on another level. So, yeah, um, I would add this to something to heat it up. It is, once again, one of those that I would add to it because the flavor itself is pretty much pepper and vinegar. And I probably would like the pepper by itself. Um, I haven't had any, any Carolina Reapers yet, although we still have the... Still got those dried reapers sitting right there. We're going to do a little piece of one of those one of these nights. So I've got some neat things lined up for you guys. Um, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really uh, disappointed in myself that uh, I, uh, I don't feel like I've gotten an endorphin dump out of any of these things endorphin endorphins stop it with your dirty minds man um if you guys happen to go on to the comments and you see um a uh ill-tempered nasty individual named power stroker 250 um leaving all sorts of naughty comments uh that's actually my friend eric he's in texas and um, he used to be such a nice guy, but apparently he's gone for um, dark humor, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to leave my comments. Um, and you, anybody who knows me, who knows what can come out of my mind. So, um, but uh, especially trying to, trying to keep it clean on the channel, trying to, trying to be clean in my life. I really like this um, spoon. This little tasting spoon from Chase the Heat. Um, it's kind of a, a mother of pearl type spoon, um, but I like it. It's perfect for, for doing this. Imagine that. He designed it just for this and it works well. Wow. So we're coming up on 1311. 1335 will be the uh, five minutes. It's coming down. It's, it's a one maybe. Um, not too bad. I've got, got the eye sweats right there. So, um, a little bit of, <coughs> a little bit of runny nose. <clears throat> Todd, I'm going to save that for you. <laughs> I'll sign it. Oh, look, here we go. To Todd. <clears throat> with a little boogie. Little heart. Frank. There you go. That's uh, it's coming to you, Todd. Put a little boogie in it for you. Um, so Todd's like, please don't send that to me. Or he might say yes. So, um, yeah, uh, I did it. I wasn't tired. Hey, I got somebody else named uh, Brad uh, who said um, I wouldn't do it, and especially since um, I've, I've tackled the Reaper squeezins. Um, man, that's some good heat. I can feel it down there, but it's, it's almost gone now. Um, he, he said I wouldn't take off my shirt, and uh, this is for you, Brad. Oh, oh my God. Wow. That looks great. Oh, woo. People watching this, they're like, what is going on? So, ooh, that looks, 
wow, that, it almost, it almost looks like um, I use steroids and then I got fat. Yeah, there you go, I took my shirt off for you. So, um, there you go. So, we're at 15.30. Um, I don't, I don't know how much, uh, you can tell it's cold in here. Stop it. Stop looking. Um, and, uh, yeah, had a good time with this. Oh, like I was saying, I have some good things coming. Uh, guy named, uh, Brian Ames, he spells that A-M-B-S. It's another guy, that's his channel. Another guy to go uh, look at his channel. He's got some cool stuff going on over there. He tries a lot of things. And today, I saw a video of him doing these uh, Twinkies from Hell. So, it's from a uh, place called... Oh, excuse me, somebody's knocking. <coughs> Bless me. Um, <laughs> so... Um, the it's called Inferno Candy Company, and they do uh, a ton of. I'm gonna let you just glory in it. Woo 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 woo. Um, and uh, they do uh, a ton of different treats. So they have like uh, Brian Ames. I guess they did did a uh, Doritos. So it's um, supposed to be super hot Doritos. Uh, I got some of those coming, and uh, they have some super hot chocolate-covered Twinkies. Oh, I, I have a twitch in my arm when I do that. Um, so, <laughs> and you're watching this. You're watching this! Um... So, uh, yeah, so they've, they've got Carolina Reaper, I believe, mixed in, or ghost pepper, mixed into every ingredient. So it's in the chocolate, it's in the um, whatever that kind of cream filling was. That did not look like norm, normal cream filling. Um, that looks deadly. And uh, they also put it in the cake. So... It's in every part. Uh, the video was interesting. They said that was super hot, but of course they like ate the whole thing uh, right there. And I, I don't, I don't know. I want to taste it and see how it feels first. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've got a couple of things coming up that I'm going to try out and uh, see how they work. We got to do tinctures again. I have some more tinctures coming, and I have some fresh, super hot peppers coming. So we will be trying those things out. All right, kids. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you had a good laugh. I want all of you guys to try your best to find stuff to laugh about every day and hopefully multiple times a day. And because uh, that's, uh, it's just, you know, how, how you get through life and not lose your mind. And uh, and there's no reason, really no reason to give um, the world around you that much. So find some stuff to laugh about. And if I can bring some, some happiness and some laughs to you, I'm happy to do it. So, um, Brad, I'll send you some, uh, send you some after photos. Uh, maybe, maybe a little off the shoulder. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys like this uh, leave comments please uh, subscribe uh, I'm going to try to keep doing things uh, 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 probably do a drinking game with me saying so many uhs in this one I will be trying to put one out just about every day I know I went a few days there but uh, uh, it was just you know, unavoidable with everything going on. So have a good night. God bless you all. And I will see you soon.